Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate yet another way to summarize data by age range or age bracket, this time using the frequency function. Now, the frequency function is a special type of function in Excel. It's part of what's known as the array functions. Now, if you watched the previous episode, you saw how I used the pivot table to quickly summarize our data, grouping the age field in 10-year spans. In other words, I took 562 sample records, and I used Excel's pivot table tool to create age brackets that were in 10-year spans. It was really simple to do, no formulas to write. However, after I applied conditional formatting, you can see that some questions arose. While there was a fairly even span in the 10 years between ages 10 and 19, 20 and 29, etc., once we got into 50 and 59, there were some interesting elements where I would prefer to have maybe a five-year span for this portion. Now, unfortunately, with the pivot table, you have a step value. And in this case, I chose a step value of 10. I could have gone back and done a step value of 5, but it wouldn't have given me the flexibility to have a broad view here and a more focused view in this case. So I'm going to use the frequency function. So over here, I've set up the bins for the ages. Now, I've created the ages in ascending order. And notice that I have a 10-year span, 10-year span, 10-year span, but from here on, I have five-year spans, and then at the very end, I have another 10-year span. So here's the result of the frequency function. Now, take a look over here. With the frequency function, notice that the two arguments are the data array. Now, the data array, and I've used the named range. 562 rows is just too much to refer to in uh, by by clicking and dragging down to select that range. So I created a name range called age. My second argument is the bin array. So over here, this is the range of the age brackets that I wish to summarize. Now also notice that up here in the formula bar that I have a little squiggly bracket around that. Let's click up here. So you see this little squiggly bracket that you see? I didn't add that in. When you use a keyboard combination for an array formula, Control plus Shift plus Enter, Excel adds that in automatically. And also notice that if I come down here and say, well, I really wanted to have another five-year span between 30 and 40. In other words, 30, 35, 40. I say, well, that'd be simple. I'll just go up here and I'll insert uh, a column, or, or insert cells. I'll push these down. So to insert the cells and push the cells down, notice that I get an error message. There is another peculiarity, and actually it's a safety measure with an array formula. You cannot edit an individual cell that uses an array formula. You either delete all of the formulas and start over, or you just accept the fact that you have created a protected uh, formula. All right, now let me create this from scratch. So I'm going to select the uh, two columns that have frequency formulas in, uh, in, in the cells, and I'll start from scratch. The first thing with an array formula is you don't create an array formula in a single cell and then copy it down. Rather, you begin by selecting the entire range. And that range must, must match in dimension the bin array. So this is our bin array, and this is going to be where we have our frequency function. So equal frequency, and I'll take advantage of formula autocomplete by using the tab key two required arguments. Our data array is going to be this range of cells. Now to make it easy, I created a name range age for the 562 rows. Now a comma, and for our second argument, the bins array. The bins array that we're selecting is an array of cells that matches in dimension the range of cells that we're going to put the frequency function into. Right parentheses. And remember, with an array formula, an array function, you use the keyboard combination Control plus Shift plus Enter. So now we have, with one formula, we have created multiple formulas in the range or in the array.
And also notice that we have the squiggly bracket. Now, you do not see me type those squiggly brackets. Those are added automatically by Excel when we use the keyboard combination, Control plus Shift plus Enter for an array function. All right, now to calculate the percentage of total. Again, remember we're going to be using an array function. So you select the range of cells that matches the dimensions of the bin array that we're going to use is the second argument. So equals frequency tab my data array. I'll use the F3 keyboard shortcut to select the name range age, which is all of these cells over here in column C. A comma for our second argument. The bins array, I'm selecting the range of cells that matches the dimension for my frequency formula. Now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the divide by operator and another function, the count function. The count function I want to do is I want to count the uh, records that are in the age range. Click OK. Write parentheses and again remember CSE. Control plus Shift plus Enter. So now I have the percentage of the total for each of these bins array. So between 10 years of age and 20 years of age, you can see I have my range over here. It's going to be 16%. I have between 30 and 40, I have the frequency by count, and I also have the percentage of total. Now let me just summarize the key factors for an array function. Select all of the cells to receive the formulas. It must be a contiguous range, and it must match the dimensions. So what we did is we selected all of the cells that we wanted to have the frequency uh, function output to, and it must match the dimensions of our bin array. And the next key point to remember is that as a best practice, I prefer to use name ranges in the formula. It's so much easier. Rather than selecting 562 uh, cells and perhaps missing one, use the name range. It saves time. It minimizes errors. Remember that we use a special keyboard combination, Control plus Shift plus Enter. The acronym is CSE. So array functions use the CSE keyboard combination, Control plus Shift plus Enter. When you do that, notice that it adds the squiggly brackets automatically. So if I click in any one of these and come up here in the formula bar, you see the squiggly bracket to the left and the right of the function. And I did not enter those manually. Excel adds them in automatically when we use CSE, Control plus Shift plus Enter. And again, remember that with a, uh, an array function, you cannot edit an individual cell. You cannot insert cells inside it. It's an all or nothing proposition. And I like that because it actually prevents accidental overwrites. Now, in the next lesson, I'm going to conclude this subject by introducing you to an add-in tool in Excel. You can actually add in a histogram. Now, the histogram actually makes a simple frequency uh, function report, but it also gives you the advantage of adding in a special histogram chart. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.